Подожди, негодяй. Ну, подонок. Я прошу прощения. Что-то подонок. Господа, господа, я Я прошу прощения. Ой, ну что вы делаете? Ну что же 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 вы делаете? Подонок сейчас. Я вообще... Ну, ладно, вот что. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Shanka Show. Stories about life in the Soviet Union. And speaking of boys and girls, currently we have slight improvement. Female viewership went up to 7.5%. Yay! Love you, ladies. Помолчите! Сейчас время наше. И я рад, что мы дожили до этого. Как я 20 лет переживал, думал, неужели это на всю жизнь? Слава Богу! And today we're going to talk about Vladimir Zhirinovsky, a.k.a. the Laughing Man, the person that I used his Latin clip quite often in my stories. Что не смеетесь-то? Не смешно? Не поняли, да? Это Россия! And my viewers keep on asking, who is the guy? What was the original joke? Why is he laughing like crazy? So today I'm gonna explain you everything. So this laughing man is Vladimir Wolfovich Zhirinovsky, who was a Russian right-wing populist politician and leader of Liberal Democratic Party of Russia. He created that party in 1992, and he was its leader till its death, which happened on April 6, 2022, when he was 75 years old. Урал! 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 Там вообще тупое население. Там дебилы живут. Вот от Перми до Екатеринбурга это страшное, это население дебильное. Shortly after he passed away, I made a video about him, and if you're interested in his personality, he was a quite a character. I'll provide the link in the comment section to my story. Basically, Vladimir Zhirinovsky was kind of like a Russian version of Donald Trump, although he never managed to become a president of Russia. He ran for election many times. One time he was pretty close. But he also was famous for his outrageous statements on live TV, in the government. He was aggressive, he would fight people. So yeah, he was quite a character. So that laughing episode that I keep on showing you occurred on TV, Russia One channel. And he produced a joke, which I personally think was pretty bad. But I'll tell you the joke. And no one laughed except him. Вот есть Крым, он наш. Есть Донбасс, он будет наш. Вот есть Крым, он наш. Есть Донбасс, он будет наш. So during Merkel visit to America, Barack Obama was showing off his three buttons: yellow, green, and red. And he explained to Merkel that if he pushes the yellow button, it will make Europe disappear. So you know, nuclear missiles will fly and wipe out Europe. Green button. China will be wiped out, and red button, Russia will be wiped out. And Merkel replied, well, my grandma used to own three toilets. One was gold, one was silver, and one was white glaze. But when the Russians entered Berlin, she could never make to any of those toilets she shit her pants right in the hallway. Then he laughs at his own joke, and when he see the other people don't laugh, just chuckle, he states, what, it's not funny? You don't laugh? You didn't get it? This is Russia! I personally think it's kind of a lame joke, but if you didn't get it, because I said it's pretty lame in my understanding, what he meant, it doesn't matter what color are your nuclear buttons, it doesn't matter what color is your toilet, when the Russians come, you're gonna shit your pants. Because this is Russia. Мы должны были оккупировать всю Грузию и не было бы никого Майдана. Бы всю Украину оккупировать как Крым. So joke was bad, but his crazy cackling became an instant meme, and that's why I use it a lot because I'm pretty bad in delivering jokes, and I think that's the best way to give you guys a hint that I just produced a joke. And I also want to mention something else I think quite important about Vladimir Zhirinovsky actions. Мы должны были оккупировать всю Грузию и не было бы никого Майдана. Бы всю Украину оккупировать, как Крым. Back in March of 2014, so that's right after Russia began occupying Crimea, but before anything 
was going on in the eastern part of Ukraine, Vladimir Zhirinovsky sent official letters from his party to the governments of Poland, Hungary, and Romania, and he offered them to split Ukraine, to cut it in pieces. So Poland will take western part with Lviv, Lemberg, then Hungary will take a piece. I think Romania was supposed to take a piece as well. And of course, Russia will take a big chunk. Вот Достоевский почему стал великим писателем? Десять лет каторги. Надо сажать. Если будут сидеть три, четыре, пять лет, появится Достоевский. Back then, of course, it sounded so crazy that only Vladimir Zhirinovsky could say. But now I'm wondering, maybe that was he was doing the Putin's bidding, sending kind of little feelers you know, to feel what the West, well, in that case, Poland, Hungary, Romania, all those countries that Stalin took land from in 1939-1940, what would those countries do or how they would react to this offering, generous offering of Russia, to cut Ukraine into pieces. And once again, if you're interested to learn more about Vladimir Zhirinovsky, I already made a quite a long video on this topic, and link will be in the comment section. Okay, so now I have a video that every time someone else will ask me about the crazy laughing man, I could just provide the link, and we got it all covered. Thank you again for watching Oshanka show and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.